everyone. Welcome back to an episode of Seagull and Speed 252. I want to thank you for pushing that play button. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. We would love to have you part of the community. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for your well wishes for my family member. He's actually doing better. Um, he came out of surgery. I'm back home now, but they sent me photos of his surgery and everything looks great. They've been talking about how everything looks great. So now he has to go through therapy and things like that to regain his walking ability. But outside of that, I want to thank each and every one of you literally for giving me your prayers and your thoughts. I'm really grateful and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, today is going to be a different type of video today because I'm a Corvette owner, right? And as far as you guys know, and ladies, I haven't really ever worked on anything car related. Now, I have worked on cars in the past, but I haven't had the opportunity to work on cars in the future because, you know, I bought my Camaro um, pretty much used with 25,000 miles on it. And legit, my Camaro is the only car that has ever, never given me any problems, which is why I'm kind of hard uh, trying to figure out if I'm going to sell the car or not. I love my Camaro. I think it's probably worth uh, maybe $15,000. Um, and I paid twenty six dollars for it back in like 2013. So anyways, I'm having a hard time to parts with this car, but I haven't had any issues with this car. As you all know, with the Corvette Grand Sport, I had some issues with it, but I drive it harder than probably most Corvette owners. Now, not the Corvette owners go to the drag strip or anything like that, because this car hasn't modified yet to go to the drag strip. But today I want to do a, you know, do a project yourself type of thing or whatever. And I'm going to give you a little story. So I have a, a company car um, of mine, personal car pretty much. We could say both because um, I clean houses for a living. My first car that I ever bought was a 2005 Pontiac G6. And I bought it with 84,000 miles on it and I paid 7,000 cash for it. And I'm back in California when I used to go to school over there for college. And so I drove the car all the way back from California. And didn't know anything about the car. I just saw it online, I think on Craigslist or something like that. They wanted 7, 7K for it. Um, I saved up my money for it. I went out there, test drove it, loved it. And um, the crazy part was, is they, they was asking for uh, 8500 for it. I told the guy, I said, like, hey, the dealership across the street has the same identical car, just got the sunroof, but he's asking only 7K. So if you take 7K, I can get it from you today. And he's like, you know what? I'll take 7K. So um, I ended up buying this car for 7K. Happy with the car. I had It had 84,000 miles on it. Um, and I, you know, I, I stayed in California for about two years and my, I finished my first year of college. I drove it back, sunroof down, everything. Let me tell you one thing. Don't drive with your sunroof down through Arizona. I was sweating bullets. Like I was extremely hot, but you know, I would jam out to Michael Jackson and jam out some other songs. Um, Baby Come Back, that was one of my hits while I was driving back. And, uh, and so, yeah, I was just getting along. But anyways, long story short, I was driving my car to one of my client's houses then I saw a bunch of steam coming from the car. You know, obviously most people knows that you probably have some fluids leaking and your car's running hot, but I kept looking at the temperature gauge and it wasn't running hot. It kept staying in the middle. So I was like, what the heck is going on? So I ended up pulling over, come to find out one of the hoses is busted. Now, it was a, I, I want to say it's a radiator hose, but it's technically not the radiator hose. It's not the, the big hose, it's a smaller hose. So anyway, I took a look at that and realized there's a hole in that, um, in that, in that hose. So today we're going to do a yourself project, we're going to ride out to AutoZone, we're going to get this hose placement, and see on the Speed 252 is going to put the hose in that car. Now to be honest with you, with my 2005 Pontiac G6, this isn't the first time I worked on it. I put a thermostat in, I put on tires in, um, on, I put on my own brake pads. So let's go ahead and go to AutoZone, get this part, and come right back. See you on the Speed 252, we'll see you in a few minutes. If you had not subscribed to the channel yet, please do, because I would love to have you part of the community. Let's go. Good girl. Hey, buddy. No, down. Down. Sit. Good girl. Go. Sit. Buddy. Sit, Gabby. Good girl. You want a bone? Huh? Yeah. 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 You great? Go. Go. There's no meat on there, huh? So you don't want it. That's what it is. Oh. So right now we are headed to AutoZone to get this part for the car. And while we're talking about it, let me see. I have it right down here on the floor. Let me see if I can pull it out. So here's the little holes that we have to fix. Uh, we have to put it together. I may need y'all help, but as you can see here, um, 
you can see that big old gap right there right right there yep it's all cracked up in the middle so right now we had at AutoZone to get that part so we can put it back on and hopefully it will take care of the job um pretty much it goes on my daily driver and i'm curious what are y'all daily driver what do you drive every day to work every day to school every day wherever you're going what is your daily driver let me know what your daily driver is but right now let's go to AutoZone to get this part Let's go get this hose. How you doing? I need to replace this. The interfreeze goes through it. It's for a 2005 Pontiac G6. Make it work. All right, everyone, we are right now in front of a 2005 Pontiac G6. So, you know, 3500 V6. I will say that this car has been great. I will say I got my money back out of this car. Like I said before earlier, I paid $7,000 for it, 84,000 miles. You know, there's things I had to do to it along the way, but nothing major as of just yet. Um, you know, it had a couple of recalls, which is something you're used to. I mean, the Corvette had a recall, the Camaro had a recall. That's just life, you know, cars don't have recalls. Um, I will say the issue I'm having with this car right now is that it, it does leak oil um, from a couple of uh, seals, but at the end of the day, I don't plan to fix those. I don't see the point. It's an old car. Once this car goes down, I'm gonna kiss her goodbye. Um, you know, hopefully at some point I can get a truck. I'm hoping to get another truck again, but I don't make enough money to do that right now. So. Um, here's one of my neighbors with one of his loud trucks. Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, I don't make enough money to get a truck. Speaking of a truck, but I would love to have one, you know, maybe get one on the channel one day. But anyways, let's go ahead and place this hose back. So we have the O hose, which is this one here. Um, as I pointed out before, there's where, it, you know, it ripped that. You can tell it, it been on a car since I had the car. Um, it actually goes right here. Let's see. Yep. So this is the way it was before went right there right in there and it started you know shooting downwards so this is the new hose so we're going to take this and put it on the car right now so i don't have to deal with that anymore and this is only like five bucks by the way it wasn't that expensive but hey sometimes you wish you didn't have to spend money at all right i guess sometimes hoses do break down wear and tear that's how it works um I probably don't even have to take this off anyways, but since I'm at it, might as well. These are the clamps. So these are the two clamps that was holding the hoses up. This one was for the top. This one was for the bottom. So this is kind of, this is like I said, this is not my first time doing a repair on this car. Um, I did numerous repairs. I actually changed the spark plugs a long time ago when I actually brought this car back from California. Uh, back in 2009. Be darn. Here's my first do it yourself kind of project on the channel. Working on a daily driver, baby. 2005 Pontiac G6. Corvette owner putting on some work today. Man, that was easy. Pretty easy. I'm hoping that, you know, that'll be the last fix sometime soon. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in this bad boy and make sure this isn't leaking anymore. And um, yeah, go from there. I do have to probably put some more antifreeze in here though. Might be a little low.
Yeah, it's absolutely completely low. So we're gonna have to put some more of that in there. in today's video i want to do a little do it yourself type of project on my daily driver once again let me know what your guys daily drivers is leave your comments down below if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please do i would love to have you part of the community um for all the adams products i use for all the the, the items i use on my youtube channel is down below in the description feel free to click on the links that are seen you straight to amazon you can purchase anything you like and some of those contributions will go to the channel um you have my p.o box uh, which will be the end of the video as well. You have my email address and my website. Feel free to purchase any type of merch you would like. I personally ship those out to you myself with a handwritten letter saying thank you for purchasing this and supporting the channel. Um, you know, I appreciate each and every one of you. I seriously do from the bottom of my heart. And I look forward to reading all your comments in this video. And thank you for joining me on my first do-it-yourself project on my daily driver with you guys. Talk to you later. Have a good day. See you on the Speed 252. It's out.